Well, it's Friday. It's not Friday the 13th, but it's a Black Friday for Donald Trump and his family. Here's your headline, and I'll provide you with the link below. Today is actually Friday, February 24th, 2017, which is the night to cast spell against Donald Trump. The left is desperate. They have no power in Congress. They don't control the White House any longer, and any hope of taking the Supreme Court vaporized the moment Donald Trump won the presidential election. It doesn't look good for progressives. Luckily, it seems they may have an ace in their hole, the power of witchcraft. Want to cast a spell on Donald Trump. A uh, document detailing how to cast a spell that would bind Trump and all who abet him has been circulating the web in both private and public witchcraft groups, and even those who don't regularly practice the craft are seizing the opportunity to use magic to stop the president. These people have no idea what they are getting involved in. There have been marches, petitions, and demonstrations against uh, Donald Trump, but it's definitely the most magical way resist. The ritual is to be done at the stroke of midnight, that's tonight, on waning crescent moon ritual days, which are February 24th, midnight, Friday evening, March 26th, April 24th, May 23rd, June 21st, especially important as it is uh, the summer solstice, etc., until Trump leaves office. Well, it looks like the White House is in trouble now, doesn't it? I've known a lot of people who call themselves witches in my day. Some are good people and some are still good friends of mine. I don't agree with their faith, but since they don't agree with mine, it's all good. A couple of them are uh, ardent Trump supporters, for the record. But let's be honest. If these witches had any real ability to affect uh, U.S. policy, when they have done so before uh, now. And back in 2015, they tried this again. That shows you how witchcraft uh, fails. And God, the power of prayer, and a holy God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, overpowers any forms of witchcraft. They tried this in 2015 to stop uh, Donald Trump, and he went on to win the presidential election. Uh, let me continue on where I left off. If they could do anything, which they can't, perhaps they could use that magical uh, prowess to combat ISIS and bind them from harming folks. I mean, Trump says mean things, and ISIS throws gay people off of buildings. Who's worse? Of course, there are times when the president has no choice but to harm folks. Would the witches of America prefer to find ourselves invaded uh, by a foreign power because the government is magically prevented from responding to a terrorist attack? I'll put the link to this below. I believe we need to all join in together. They're supposed to do this. There's a Facebook page, uh, I understand, dedicated to this as well where witches around the world, black magic, that shows you the involvement with the globalists, the New World Order, the Illuminati, Hollywood, the movie industry, the uh, music industry, they're involved in the satanic rituals, uh, the occult and witchcraft. And this just proves this point beyond any shadow of a doubt. Um, we need to get together, Christians, be strong, be bold, and we need to pray for Donald Trump and his family. But uh, they have no power. God is in full control. God put Donald Trump in this position at this time in Bible prophecy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe to my channel for real stream. Media News. God bless you.